Alright, here we go. Uh, January 9th, second to last day of the season. It's hard to believe. We've got some crazy winter weather going on right now. I bet we're 10, 11 inches at least of snow between the overnight hours and so far today, and it's still coming down pretty good. Just gonna keep getting worse um, as the day goes. And uh, it certainly was not an easy trek down to this property. It took at least twice as long as it should have, but couldn't sit out on the second to last day. I hope the deer move. You know, it, it's one of those things where you think they, they gotta get up and feed. But in my experience, uh, during the precipitation hasn't been as good and it's kind of gusty, windy. Um, not too bad in this cove, but anxious to see how they move for sure. It's a, uh, while the weather's nasty, it is beautiful in here. All the snow covered trees and make for a, a cool setting for a good hunt. But uh, hoping to see any of the four mature bucks uh, that I've been targeting on this on this plot. You know, the nice thing about snow I've been hoping for for a long time, you know, it kind of takes that picked bean field out of the equation that's connected to this and hopefully kind of concentrates them here, which would increase the, the chances of a bow range opportunity. The thing I'm interested to see though, these beans are picked over pretty good. You know, it seems like these deer start at the top and work their way down these bean plants so all the pods are at the bottom or what's left of them anyways and those are pretty well covered by snow so they might have to do some digging we'll see i do expect to see some deer it's just whether or not they they move before dark so i'm gonna enjoy like i said the second last sit of the season and hopefully it's a good one
man, down to the wire. What a night. That's a buck that my buddy and I call happy. It's a no doubt mature 10. I've had a couple of encounters with him so far, but just not in bow range or too uh, too late after dark. He came in with, a, hadn't had any deer come from that way all night, and then a group came in that he was with, so I kind of had to shuffle around and close some windows, open windows. Uh, it's just so tough. There's so many deer, and I, uh, the video doesn't do it justice, but there was, you know, 40-plus deer all around me. Try not to bust them, you know, rather than staying up when I'm moving around. I was kind of down my knees, staying below the, the window level. And he came in, the shot was about 30 yards. Something made him nervous. I'm sure one of these does that were within 8, 10 yards probably made him nervous. And he was quartering away at about 30 yards. And I think I made a good shot. But I'm going to get out now and start looking before any more snow covers up the blood trail. It's starting to let up a little bit, but I want to get to looking uh, before too long. Um, the, the shot felt good, sounded good, the reaction looked good. So, man, I can't tell you how how excited I am to bring it down to the wire like that. Um, hopefully, he's not too far, and it's come. It could be a long night. I'm, uh, I'm way way back in here. Gonna have to probably pull him out with the with the spider and go the mile trek back to the truck and then the about an hour trek back home in blizzard conditions so such a fun night though some some really cool footage uh, just beautiful scenery hopefully top it off with a quick recovery here Well, this isn't the first time that I've taken it down to the wire before filmed my buck tag, but I always joke around with buddies that that's the best way to get your money's worth is to get a bunch of hunts in, a bunch of encounters, and, and then fill it at the end. But man, what a night, what a memorable hunt that was. Uh, just blizzard-like conditions. We got over a foot of snow yesterday. Um, just, just an adventure getting to and from the property, getting this buck out. He obviously didn't go far. You know, being on my own, I wasn't able to film a whole lot on the recovery, but he didn't go far, but he went straight down into a ravine. So getting him out of that ravine late at night, uh, just a, a memorable hunt for sure. But the conditions during the hunt, this beautiful scenery, just the, the deer activity was so fun to watch. Uh, a couple different buck fights throughout the night. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're getting kind of aggressive over the limited food or, or they're just kind of in a, a frisky mood but man it was some really cool activity he obviously came in late like he has almost every single time i've seen him i've, I've put a lot of hunts in that little one and a half acre spot and sometimes uh he'd get there after dark sometimes he wouldn't be in bow range um, sometimes he wouldn't even make it to the plot but this is the buck uh, that my buddy and I call Happy. And this is this is our first year managing that property together. So we don't have any actual history with these deer, but this was the first no doubt mature buck we got on camera uh, earlier this fall. So kind of cool to, to put a tag on, on him being the first shooter that showed up. Um, he was you know somewhat regular throughout the year, uh, not a ton of encounters, but uh, he always liked to use one uh, certain side of the property, came from the same direction almost every time. 
Um, just always acted like a mature buck that was always late movement. He was always behind all the other deer. Uh, anxious to see how old he actually is. I, I'm thinking he's a, he's, I would say he's definitely older than five, but I'm going to age him and, and try to find out. Um, but such a fun hunt. So many good, young, and up-and-coming bucks there. Um, that it's going to be fun to see what that future holds. I think my buddy and I are going to have a lot of fun. Uh, working on that piece and, and making it as good as it can be but um, such a such a fun way to cap off the season you know I, I had a lot of encounters on this plot a lot trying to move different trees trying to get these deer in bow range uh, this is a property that I hunted when I wasn't you know chasing that recurve target when I didn't have the right wind to hunt with my recurve over on that property I would bring my compound down to this to this one so it was it was fun switching back and forth um, and just, you know, just chasing them with the with archery equipment, either compound or recurve. Um, that's what I love about it. It's just uh, this whole season was a lot of fun for me. Um, definitely challenged myself in different situations and uh, learned a lot going into next year. Uh, but, man, what a way to, to cap it off. Uh, just such a memorable hunt to, to cap off a memorable season.